Hi, it's Amber. From a real-life Ken and Barbie couple to a Superman fan who took his obsession too far, here are 13 people whose goal in life was to look like dolls. Number 13, Anastasia and Quentin. Having a passion for music or art is usual, but Quentin and Anastasia consider plastic surgery as their passion. The couple met at a boat party in San Tropez. It was love at first sight for Quentin, now 25 years old, who spotted Anastasia, currently 22 years old. They discovered that they both shared an obsession for Ken and Barbie dolls from an early age. They set out to fulfill their dreams, spending an astonishing $322,728 on cosmetic enhancements and surgeries. This includes fake tanning, teeth whitening, nail extensions, butt implants, ear shaping resurgery, lip injections, cheek fillers, Botox, two boob jobs for Anastasia, four nose jobs, and more. They even bought a convertible Porsche. Surprisingly, most of the costs were actually covered by their parents. With each procedure, the young couple gradually transformed into human dolls. After a while, Ken felt that Barbie was no longer committed to their dream. Things finally took a turn for the worst when Barbie crossed Ken by dyeing her hair brown. If you were a fan of the doll world, you would know that Ken hates brunettes. Quentin, shattered and distraught, had to dump Anastasia. Presently, he is one lonely doll. In an interview for Mail Online, he said, it would be nice to find love again. Number 12, Vinny O. Vinny O doesn't want to become a Ken doll like Quentin. He has grander dreams that are out of this world. Wow. The 22-year-old makeup artist from Los Angeles has spent about $50,000 on more than 110 cosmetic surgeries to transform into a genderless alien. For his final transcendence from a puny human into an advanced life form, Vinny will undergo an expensive surgery that will scrape off his Whoa. nipples, belly button, and genitalia. Number 11, Superman fan Herbert Chavez. If you have visions of becoming a real-life superhero, emulate Herbert Chavez, a fashion designer from Colombo City in the Philippines. Chavez, now 37 years old, was hooked on the man from Krypton at an early age. His first expression of a brewing obsession was collecting Superman paraphernalia, such as life-size dolls, comic books, and other items. In 1998, fresh from puberty, the pimply, small-sized man took his fascination further. He began looking for Filipino plastic surgeons to make him look like the late Christopher Reeves, the most famous Superman star. Chavez has undergone numerous cosmetic enhancements, including nose jobs, lip enhancements, jaw realignment, pec implants, and abdominal implants. In 2013, the Guinness Book of World Records took an interest to Chavez, not for successfully morphing into Superman, but due to his extensive collection of Superman memorabilia, consisting of 1,253 Whoa. items but he puts that figure at closer to 5,000 items and hopes to collect more. How have people reacted to Chavez? In the world today, doing outlandish things launches you into stardom. It is no different for Chavez. He has since become an idol in his community. His parents are proud, stating that though he is small, he is the Filipino Superman. Nevertheless, life is not always rosy for a superhero. Chavez revealed in an interview for the Daily Mail UK, the expectation of people is that they are flawless. They do not get hurt and they do not die. One thing is for sure, it's easy to mistake Chavez for a life-size Superman action figure. And now for one of the most famous guys, but first, remember to subscribe to PG Planet. Number 10, Justin Jedlica. Justin is an American man nationally known as the human Ken doll. Born in 1980, he was already planning his first cosmetic procedure, a rhinoplasty, at just 17 years old. His hunger for body enhancements was sparked by a show called Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, which aired in the 90s. On the show, Justin noticed how the wealthy idolized good looks and readily altered their appearance. And he craved the same for his young teenager body. He turned to his parents who did not approve of his plan. Therefore, Justin had to postpone his yearning to go under the knife until he became an adult citizen. Just four days after turning 18, he underwent the procedure to reconstruct his nose. By 2012, he had 190 cosmetic procedures under his belt. These have included thigh implants, shoulder implants, chest implants, subpectoral implants, calf implants, bicep implants, triceps implants, and more. You may wonder, is the guy plastic? Well, Justin says that he wishes to become 100% plastic. He recently divorced from his successful businessman husband and resides at Trump's Tower in Chicago. He has more surgeries lined up and he claims that he is far from his ideal image. Number nine, Rodrigo Alves. Rodrigo Alves, a UK flight attendant, demonstrates that Ken dolls can have jobs in the real world. 
Frustrated by his looks all his life, Alves knew exactly how to spend his grandfather's inheritance once he got his hands on it. $325,000 to achieve his convincing Ken look. He has gained celebrity status online by appearing on various TV shows. He stated that, if people think I spend a lot of money on plastic surgery, wait until you have seen my shoes. Apparently this Ken owns over 200 pairs of shoes. Hmm, if you had a huge inheritance, would you spend it on cosmetic surgeries or fashion? Number 8. Jennifer Pamplona Jennifer is a 24-year-old Versace model from Brazil who is crazy about her butt. Really obsessed. So obsessed that last year she was willing to die for it. Her last procedure involved injecting four pints of fat in her booty, despite eight doctors turning her away, citing that the procedure was too risky. Her goal was to rival Kim Kardashian. Jennifer's battle to change her looks begun when she was 17 years old. It was then that she underwent a boob job. She was dating the late Kelso Santabenes, a professional footballer and Brazilian Kendall, who used to remark, you don't have a big butt and you're too skinny. Kelso also underwent surgeries to look like a doll. He died of leukemia, which doctors discovered as he underwent tests to identify an infection caused by the application of hydrogel. Jennifer has spent about $470,000 on various surgeries including rib removal, liposuction, and two boob jobs. She claims that the surgeries help her cope with negative feelings and depression. When she finally got her Kim Kardashian butt, her mother couldn't speak to her for two weeks after seeing the bruising from the injections. While people criticize her for wasting money, Jennifer views the body modifications as an investment. She declared, I will become more famous than Kim Kardashian. What do you guys think? Did it work? Number 7. Amber Guzman Amber Guzman's story is touching and sad. Amber transformed into a real-life doll because of muscular dystrophy, a serious disease that causes progressive wasting of the muscles. Due to the disorder, she has to be picked up and set down in a chair like a baby. One day, something snapped inside her and she began a quest to change her life. Amber realized that she was an actual living doll. She worked on her makeup skills, enabling her to transform into a doll. She states that she has never spent even a dime on plastic surgery. Becoming a doll helps her to not be so sad and upset. What a noble endeavor, don't you think? Number 6. Ducky Thought Ducky Thought is a former Next Top Model contestant who moved from Australia to New York since she was struggling to land jobs as a dark-skinned fashion model in her country. The Barbie-like model of Sudanese descent has since become famous around the world. She first modeled for Kanye West, then she joined Rihanna's clique of Fenty X Puma Girls. In 2018, Ducky will appear as a Pirelli calendar girl, joining the ranks of other top models such as Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, and Heidi Klum. Number 5. Valeria Lukianova Valeria is an internet star from Ukraine, well known for her convincing Barbie doll appearance. She claims that she has only had breast surgery and nothing more. The rest is due to proper dieting and excellent makeup. Number 4. Anastasia Shpagina Shpagina is another makeup artist from Ukraine. She posts makeup tutorials on YouTube in which she transforms into various music and movie stars such as Justin Bieber, Jack Sparrow, Miley Cyrus, and others. On her various videos, she has achieved a living doll look a flower fairy look, and a breathing anime character look. Like Valeria, she attributes her looks to makeup, a good diet, and breast implants. She hails from Odessa and once worked as a hairstylist at a salon. Number 3. Nanette Hammond Nanette happens to be the oldest living Barbie doll on our list at 43 years old. She has been committed to the doll-like look since she was 21 years old when she underwent her first surgery. Since then, she has spent more than $500,000 to look like her idol. So far, Nanette has had three boob jobs, lip fillers, eyelash extensions, and veneers. She even has a tanning salon in her 10-bedroom mansion. This stay-at-home mom plans to stop when she is 70 years old. Number 2. Luis Padron Luis Padron is a 26-year-old man from Buenos Aires, Argentina. He has grandiose dreams of transforming himself into an elf, which is a mythical creature depicted in The Lord of the Rings. He found comfort and acceptance in the fantasy world after constant bullying in the real world. So far, he has spent $60,000 for his transformation. In 2017, Lewis flew to Korea to have his jaw broken down and shaped into an anime V-shape. Previously, a celebrity surgeon cut his ears and stitched them into a pointed shape. He has undergone full body hair removal, laser skin bleaching, rhinoplasty, and more. Currently, he spends $5,000 every month to maintain and improve his look. He even has plans to add fangs in future surgeries. Number 1. Angelica Canova Angelica Canova, a 29-year-old Russian model, was a living doll right from her childhood. 
At age six, her mother started buying her collectible Barbie dolls and dressing her like one. Her mother was a fan of Barbie's beautiful face, slender body, golden curls, and stylish clothes, so she wished the same for her daughter. Angelica would dress up as a Barbie, pose in front of the mirror for hours, and put on performances for friends of their family. Soon, everyone nicknamed her the Russian Barbie. Her parents have remained protective of her throughout her life. They have never allowed her to date boys, go out, or have any other adult experiences. She told a news website, I am not fit for life. I'm like a living doll. Angelica has never had plastic surgery. She maintains her tiny doll-like figure through a strict diet and exercising multiple times a week. She considers it a compliment when people call her Barbie. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe! See you next time on Peachy Planet!